Hey guys, Emma here, also known as 8 Vinyl Low, bringing you all another video. Today's video is going to be another VCLT unboxing. I received two packages in the mail yesterday, and uh, I'm going to be doing the unboxing today. So, the first package that I received in the mail is from my buddy Jeff Kempen, and uh, he had messaged me about a day or two ago, completely out of the blue, telling me that he sent an Amazon package my way. So uh, completely unexpected and uh, as always, greatly appreciated. So thank you so much in advance, Jeff, uh, for thinking about me and wanting to send some VCLT my way. So we will do uh, this unboxing first, but I also received a message from my buddy Mike over at Jam, Jam on Vinyl. And uh, I can't remember if it was a message or if he put it, I remember him talking about it in his uh, contest drawing. Uh, but either way, he told me that he wanted to send something my way, that he found something that he, think that I would, that he thought I would really enjoy. So he also sent a VCLT package. So again, Mike, thank you so much in advance. Um, it really does mean a lot every time, every time I receive one of these. So, first and foremost here, we will open the VCLT from Jeff. The cool thing about these Amazon boxes is that they have that little kind of pull peel, so I don't have to pre-score anything. Um, so we'll just kind of open this up and, uh, and see what's in there. I still have trouble with this though. Okay, there we go. All right, this is off. And we have, okay, oh, this is awesome. Uh, buddy Guy, Stone Crazy, Jeff just showed this in, um, in one of his videos as being one of his favorite albums in his collection, one that he uh, when he first got it, he spun all the time because it was just that damn good. So this is awesome. Um, on that same video, I commented that I'm so behind on getting Buddy Guy to my collection. I love Buddy Guy so much and uh, definitely have that connection to him because uh, of the Chicago connection. But I just didn't have any Buddy Guy in my collection. And I finally started adding some buddy guy into my discogs want list so that I could remember because I use that want list when I'm out hunting for records at different record stores and stuff so I could remember to uh to check out uh, and see if I could pick up some anybody guy so uh the stone crazy was one of the first ones that I put on my list after Jeff showed this um so this is this is so awesome I absolutely cannot wait to give this a spin if uh, if Jeff says it's good, then it's it's gonna be pretty pretty damn good. So very excited about this. Um, this is definitely going in the front of my listening pile. So thank you uh, very much, Jeff, for sending that that my way. All right, next one again. This next package is from Michael Red Jam on vinyl. Pre-scored this one a little bit. And uh, we'll see, we'll see what he sent. Okay, there we go. Okay, so I feel here a note and it says spoilers. And another funny thing about this is that, uh, as you can see, the spoilers, this is written from his typewriter. Uh, he had told me that he was writing me a note on his typewriter and I told him that it was really cool. I think he's doing something with his students about uh, digital detox and things like that. So I thought that was pretty cool. So I won't read this yet because of the spoilers, but just wanted to, to point that out. I don't know what this is. Let's see. Oh, very cool. The tape got stuck to it. So I'm going to have to take, take this off. Ignore the tape on there but it is a pencil from the Northport Historical Society. Let's see if you can get in there. Yeah, this tape, I didn't take that off right, so I'm gonna have to cut that, but very, very cool. 
All right. Let's see. Okay, we have no way. Oh, that is freaking awesome. This is so cool. We have the hassles. This was probably I would have never thought that uh, that this was that this would be the album that uh, that was coming my way. This is awesome. Uh, of course, the hassles uh, in early pre kind of Billy Joel band and early Billy Joel band. I think one of his first bands. And then uh, this is a more psych band, I believe. I haven't listened to it, uh, but I do know that this is a band that Billy Joel was in. And then I think he did. He was in a band called Attila or something along those lines. And then eventually uh, he did more solo stuff with with putting out Cold Spring Harbor and then of course beyond. But uh, this is so cool. This is so cool. As you guys know, right, I love Billy Joel. I'm not sure how much Mazzy would approve, but I love him. So, yep, there he is. They called him Billy Joe. This is so cool. So in that gatefold there, right, that picture of Billy Joe at the top reminds me of Billy Joe Armstrong. Um, show the rest there. We have young Billy in the back with his mustache and all. Kept that mustache for a uh, Cold Spring Harbor too, I believe. This is, I cannot wait for this. This is awesome, I cannot wait to play it. Um, very clean, very clean copy. That is so cool. Um, Thank you so much, Mike. I'm sure you're gonna say something about, about Billy Joel in that note, and I do wanna get to that note, so I'm just gonna put this off to the side here. That is so freaking cool. I love that, uh, that cover art. I think it's really nice. Definitely playing into the, uh, the psych of the, the late 60s, so very, very cool. I know I keep saying very cool, but it's true. All right, going to the uh, note here. Super cool. Like I said, it was on a typewriter. It says, hey, uh, hi, Emma. I hope you like the type note. I am trying to get my students to embrace a digital detox of sorts. Maybe this will be my thing for when I send records. I think it should. I think this is very cool. Anyway, wow, what an amazing thought out entry. I loved it. I plan on using your song choices in my lessons on the Cold War. Very, very cool. I was actually, after I had made that video and did the research for it, I actually created a, a kind of uh, lesson plan from, from that information. So I hope to use it in my classroom, cl classroom uh, someday too, but hopefully in the near future. Um, but I'm happy that you found it useful. Uh, and can use it as a resource moving forward. Anyway, uh, so I know what a big Billy Joel fan you are, and I wanted to send this your way. This is the Hassles, Billy Joel's first band. Very, very cool. Everyone on Long Island has some connection to them. New Yorkers, haha. <laughs> I hope you like it, and thank you for entering my contest. Your love and passion for music and history is contagious. Good luck with teaching. You will be awesome. Mike from Jam on Vinyl. So, uh... Thank you so very much, Mike. Thank you so much for your uh, kind and thoughtful uh, letter as well. All right. So um, again, thank you, Jeff, for this buddy guy and Mike for this, the hassles. Um, these both are going straight to the, the front of my listening pile. I cannot wait to to give those a spin. So uh, that's all I have for this video, guys. If you aren't familiar uh, with Jeff Kempin or Mike over at Jam on Vinyl, I'm going to link 
their links, their channel links down in the description below. Definitely go check them out. Give them a sub. I love those guys. So that's all I have for this video, guys. I will see you for my next. Bye, guys.